I have read several books on habit forming and productivity. One thing that is common to all of the productivity gurus that is if you want to build a habit, you have to do two things, make it simple and make it easy. Let me explain a bit from this perspective while working on any project. We make lot of folders and key files scattered. I believe everybody is a good digital hoarder and nowadays finding information is so easy that finally we ended up collecting lot of digital stuff. Most of the time we do not look back into those items. I used to be on your side before. What is the point of keeping so much information if you cannot use any? So did you think anytime why does this happen? I am waiting for the answer. Still waiting. Okay. We used to use a complex system when it comes to manage our knowledge. We create a lot of folders and put our article into all those folders so we cannot find those article when needed. We also use different applications for different purposes, one for managing reference, one for reading article and one for actually sorting and storing article. So as a result, we cannot actually combine all those articles and we cannot uh, find those article when needed. So this used to happen to me all the time. What is our goal? Our goal is to actually build a habit so that we read our materials every day. How can we do that? So to do that, make it simple, make it easy. Use only one application for managing your files, sorting your files, reviewing your files and finally use as a reference system. So research shows that if you put everything into one place, you are likely to have a good results. So how can you put everything into one place? Here comes the Zotero. I use Zotero for managing and sorting all of my article, reviewing all of my article and taking notes on all of my article and finally use those references in my writing. So it makes my knowledge management process so easy. Every day when I open my computer, I start my day with opening one application that is Zotero. It is an all-in-one solution. It reduces my effort to manage and sorting all of my files in one place. Before starting any project, I create a new collection in my Zotero and select it. Then I dig into the internet for good article. When I get a good article or reading, I add that into my Zotero database just by one click in browser extension. That's all. Easy peasy. In this way, I do not need to worry much about sorting my article as I am already sorting them when I am adding that into my system. I also follow a specific folder structure throughout my system so that I do not need to worry much about losing them. So in future video, I will discuss how to create a sustainable folder structure to manage your knowledge smartly. Let me put a specific example how I manage my coursework using Zotero. When I start any course, I create a new sub collection inside Zotero and I put all of my lecture into it. Then I review the article inside Zotero and I annotate the article when I'm reviewing. Sometimes I use my iPad for reviewing the article. After completing the review, Zotero creates a beautiful note from all of my annotation and then I put that note into my obsidian. That is convenient because I can review the whole article within short time. The same process goes for blog article, newspaper, research paper and videos. I can actually spend whole day talking about all of these processes but let me say it for different story. Think about five years later, if I need to review my coursework for a specific project, I can do that without putting a lot of effort. So that is the only reason I pay for Zotero extra storage so that I can access all of the article from all of my devices. So finally, there is no place like Zotero. So that's all about Zotero for today. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Shubham Gurdash, a full-time researcher and hobbyist YouTuber. If you like this video series, don't forget to subscribe my channel and enable bell icon so that you will get the notification. If you want to get the email notification for when I will upload new video, you can subscribe my newsletter, you will get the link below.